not anaphylactic, that's good to know. Okay, so I went and collected a bunch of straight long sticks that are nice and thin that are going to be perfect as uh, steaks for my tomatoes as well as my gooseberry. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow them down too much. get so many more wood chips. Oh my gosh, so many weeds coming through this springtime. Morning sheep. Hi. <coughs> Are you wondering what this contraption is yet? Morning. Whoa. Were you going to lick me? or eat me. So Sam went away camping this week. Hi Kai. Hi Alfie. <laughs> and during that time that he was away, it started raining. Not just a little bit of rain through the day, but pouring. And so I had to come out here in the middle of the night and I, and I looked around for something that I was strong enough to carry on my own in the middle of the night. And I ended up finding this corrugated iron. Ooh. <laughs> this tarp off of one of the, our garden beds and I dragged it over here mind you because Sam is camping he's got all of our torches and all of our lights so I had to use my phone torch and my phone was only on 6% because this was like the middle of the night like I was in bed oh, anyways I missioned through I couldn't leave these guys alone and somehow I dragged this giant metal thing and I think last night when we had rains again, they settled down underneath here. So I'm thankful for that and thankful that I was able to move this. I had to drag it all the way from the shipping container, along there, up the hill and over here. Quite the mission, I must say. I was exhausted. You got to look after them. They can't look after you. They can't look after you. You got to look after them. They can't look after themselves. They're very skittish of me today. I am gearing up to go do my first beehive inspection and I am a little bit scared, but we're going to give it a go. I've got my smoker going up top. Of course, I'll make sure that it's ready before I commit to anything. Oh, it's very quiet today. I hope they haven't left. Oh no, I hope they haven't left. Okay, so they say you've got to smoke the entrance. Take the rock off. Take straps off. Okay. And then what we're going to do is lift it up a bit. Smoke the entrance. There's a couple not happy with me. Going to that on the ground. All right, and straight away I can see, wow, they're drawing out the comb, but no storage yet. There's a bit of nectar happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doing well. All little worker bees. Oh wow, so many on that side. Look at how many bees there are. You guys are incredible. Oh, there's lots piling up. Why are you guys piling up? See those guys all piling up there? They're not very happy with me, I must say. And I haven't even gotten to where their queen is. Can you guys see the way it bulges out? That means they're drawing them out. That's kind of cool. Watch out, lovelies. So this is the box that should have the queen. 
So in here we're hoping to see brood, which is eggs and babies. Oh, why'd you try to sting me? Now you're going to die. Oh, dude. So this could be a queen cell mm -hmm. down the bottom there, sticking out. Um, and I think capped brood in the middle, because it looks a bit darker and a bit lumpier. And then honey, capped honey at the top. And it's full of nectar, but also this dark stuff on the side. So I have to figure out what that is. Two frames to go, guys, and then I'm going to leave you alone. Let's close up this box. Okay, so let's reflect on our first beehive inspection. I didn't spot the queen as far as I saw, but I saw a lot of bees bunching up in places. Lots of nectar and honey. Lots of starting to make capped honey in the bottom box, um, around the edges, and in the top box. Cool, I got my first bee sting, guys. And then in the top box, I saw them drawing out the frames and starting to put in nectar. So that's really cool. First bee sting on my thumb. Didn't really feel like much. I think it kind of burnt a little bit, like it was a burning feeling. But yeah, not too bad. So not anaphylactic. That's good to know. That was good. Good first go. I liked it. It was enjoyable. Okay guys, so I've spoken with my mentor, I did some research and I found out some more about what queen cells in my hive means. So essentially because my queen cells were at the bottom of the frames rather than in the middle, it means that these bees are outgrowing their space or are far too strong and they're getting ready to swarm. I always knew it was a big hive and I'm not sure if putting the box on top, that second box, if that came on too late, maybe they were already starting um, to feel outgrown in that space. Um, but good news, even though they're creating new queens and they are going to swarm, it doesn't mean I'm going to lose all of my bees. What's going to essentially happen is that the old queen that brought all of these bees into here, she's going to take some of the bees with her and then some of the new cells are going to get created into queens. So it's not the worst thing and I mean if I really wanted to I could get another hive box and I could split the hive so that way I've got two boxes but I think that's just way too much pressure right now as a new beekeeper and I'd rather just keep it simple with the first hive and just keep it as it is. And as far as my bee sting goes it's almost like nothing ever happened. What an interesting day is shaping out to be. I just got home from work. Turns out our bees have swarmed and Sam has already shared that with you all. And now we're heading out to get some chicken food. Luckily we found a place to get it and also getting some of the native plants. It's about 12.30. We have to drive all the way to Kuma, which is going to take us maybe two hours round trip, probably more like three hours. Uh, so hopefully we have enough time to go to the nursery before it closes at five. swarming bees are still there quite a big bunch look if they're still there tomorrow I might run out when I head out for the morning and grab a bee box and try to catch them but it might not happen guys these busy little darlings are still here buzzing away working hard hey chooks all coming home for the day There's still quite a lot here. Just shows you how many bees were in there. No wonder they ran out of room. Good morning, guys. It is the next day, and as you can see, it's going to be a very wet week again for us. These poor baby chicks have not been able to catch a break this whole time. It just keeps raining and raining, but 
so far they seem to be okay with it. <laughs> Now I'm super excited because yesterday Sam and I did end up going and purchasing a bunch of native edible plants or bush tucker and I have them sitting right over here on our mess of a table and hopefully if there's a break in the rain in the next week I'll have time to start planting it out. You know I've been working for a whole week straight when our house is an absolute mess because I can't get to everything. Come on, shoe. Good news is the bees. The bee saga continues, it seems, today. They actually didn't end up moving on last night before the rain hit. And now that the rain is here, I don't think they'll be moving anytime soon. So they've actually bunched up all together and they are just chilling, poor things. Don't think they'll be happy in this weather. But that gives me a chance to swing past a beekeeper's home to pick up some new boxes for these guys and try to get them in. There's not many flying around or doing anything. They're just going to hang out here until there's a break in the rain for them to move on. And at this point, the rain is going to stick around for a really long time. So I'm kind of crossing my fingers that I've got a decent enough window of time to go get everything I need. Once again, I don't have everything I need because yesterday was just a really big, busy day. After we came home yesterday with the chicken food and the plants, I actually had to go back to school for our school play. So I was out all day, all night yesterday and um, just didn't get a chance to get around to these guys. They seem to always swarm on the one day I can't get them. I do need to mention that last time I did my hive inspection, my bee suit, the zip for the little headpiece actually broke. So I'm going to have to find a way to connect it all and then come out here and give it a go. And I'll be here by myself all day. So if I'm gonna get a thousand bee stings and die, it's probably going to be today. Let's stay positive. <laughs> I'm gonna stop blabbering on. I'm gonna finish my coffee and get going before these guys catch a break in the rain and run off on me. This has been a mission and a half. I'm the absolute worst driver ever taking corners, especially when there's something so delicate in the back. So far I'm managing. Uh, my phone decided to run out of battery, even though I had to get to the beekeeper's house. And luckily I remembered his address. I did take a wrong turn at first, but we're here now. So let's get our bee stuff and head home safely. <laughs> I just don't feel safe in my suit. But we're away. Most of the bees are in. Some are on us. You guys have a couple on you. You can see what I'm concerned about. Is that big swarm still on the tree? There's a lot of bees on the ground. And I'm not sure if they're walking in. So far the bee suit is working, which is good. But like I said, I still need to cut that branch. Hey, there's like bees on my head. Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> but I need to cut that branch and get that into the box. That's I think where the queen still is and they're not gonna go into that box until she's in there. Honestly, by the size of that swarm again on the tree, I have a feeling they've all left the box now. That's really annoying. While we wait for the bees to do their thing, we might as well bring over all of the native edible food trees. I got so many, I'm so excited. I think I actually got maybe 20 to 30 different varieties of plants going into this little food forest. I think I spent just a little bit over $500 just because I was excited. And there's still a couple of plants that I'm 
keen to get into the food forest that I wasn't able to source. So hopefully I'll be able to get those in the future as well. But for now, I've already spent my budget and a deal is a deal. So those other plants might have to wait for a future food forest. Who knows, maybe an upgrade. Just swarmed up on the tree again. See him to the rescue. We just shook the tree into the box to get the last few off and they're just settling down in there now and then hopefully we'll be able to move them somewhere a bit safer. I'm at about four bee stings at the moment. I got a really good one on my ear. Absolutely burnt <laughs> that sting did. Um, but it's feeling a lot better now. I put some calendula salve onto it and it seems to be fine. I think it's still maybe a bit red. Not so bad. Seems being an absolute champ at the moment and leveling out a new bit of ground so we can put a more stable table down for them. We're still pretty certain that this hive has bees inside it because I've been seeing bees coming and going all day. You can hear them too. Can you? Yeah, put the mic up next to the um next to the vents at the top. Definitely in there. 